Colleen here from Feel Great Reflexology and Massage Cupping. I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to talk about charcoal poultices and just activated charcoal in general. I'm going to show you a few things that I do with activated charcoal. This is activated charcoal powder and it is one of my saviors. It's great for detoxing and it is great for um, beauty, health tips. So I'll show you how I use it as a detox. If I've got an upset stomach or if I have uh, indigestion, um, I use it by um, drinking it. So I'll put a little bit in a cup of water. This is some fresh squeezed lime juice um, that has been put in some hot water and I'll just add a teaspoon of it to my um, cup of tea and it really helps. And um, I just drink it and it really helps to clear up any indigestion, clear up any um, bloating, upset stomach. Even if I've had a little bit too much to drink the night before, this is my hangover cure. So try it. Um, the next thing that I use activated charcoal for is to make a poultice. Um, if I have a bee sting or a bite from a mosquito or something that has irritated my skin, um, I can make a poultice and um, it is a wonderful way to relieve the pain, the effects of a um, toxin that has uh, irritated my skin. And I'm going to show you how to do that with uh, the activated charcoal and psyllium husk and plain old water mixed together. Um, and I'm going to do so by using a clear plastic Ziploc bag. This is an easy way to make it, easy way to mix it. Uh, I do that because activated charcoal is really messy. It's um, burnt hardwood or sometimes it's burnt coconut husks and um, it is black, it's charcoal. So I will mix one teaspoon and I've just poured it into my bag, my Ziploc bag and psyllium husk. I've also poured that into my bag with one teaspoon and equal parts water. Now I'm going to zip the lock on this bag and I'm going to mix it together by just mushing it up. Can you see how it just incorporates really easily? Psyllium husk is great. It expands. Um, so even though that was one teaspoon, as I continue to mix it with the activated charcoal, it's expanding. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll zoom in on it after and you can see how it's already absorbed the charcoal and the water. It's expanding and it's great. Um, I'm just smushing it. That's how I'm making this poultice. That's how I'm making um, my little um, my little lifesaver is what I'm gonna call it. It's going to draw out the poison from the bee sting or the mosquito bite once I apply it to the skin. And in part two, I'm gonna show you how I apply it to the skin just using a Band-Aid and um, just uh, putting it directly on the skin over top of the bite. Okay, so we're back for part two. We've made the activated charcoal poultice and it has come along nicely. Um, it's now all combined, the activated charcoal with the psyllium husk and the water. It was easy to make. Um, I am now going to 
going to apply it to a band-aid and I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply on your skin on an insect bite on an irritation um, and you're going to want to take this camping you're going to want to put this in the freezer and preserve it for um, a time when you need it uh, because it is that easy to make and that easy to use so I have gotten a spoon and I'm just taking a little piece of it it's quite gummy actually so very easy to um, remove and I'm adding it to a band-aid and I'm just putting it on top of the band-aid and you can see how easy it is and how simple it is to apply directly to an irritation. So right there, I have put it onto my skin. I will leave it on there. It'll help to um, relieve whatever irritation, um, bug bite, um, even um, you know poison ivy um, infection that uh, uh, you could uh, receive, and it'll help to pull out the the itch and soothe the itch. And you can change it. Um, you can change it every hour, you can change it every two hours. As you see the swelling go down, feel the itch um, being relieved, you can change it and keep reapplying it. It is wonderful. Um, I'm going to list all of the benefits of activated charcoal so you can understand why you want this as your backup first aid kit. Uh, again, you can leave this in your freezer. Uh, so that you have it on hand and you're ready for it um, and it'll defrost quite quickly and quite easily and um, no fuss, no mess, simple, uh, natural, effective detoxification and this is an ancient method that's been used for centuries and it works so if ever you need it I hope you'll try it. I got my activated charcoal from the health food store and it came in a huge bag and it's messy so I make sure that I always seal it quite well and I will parcel it out in separate Ziploc bags again I will use um, tiny Ziploc bags and tiny little containers as care packages to give to the family to give to friends um, and uh, it, it stays quite neat and it's uh, there on the ready so I hope you'll try it and um, if ever you need it for um, your tea to use as a detox for the tummy, um, give it a try as well. Remember, I'm going to use my little care package here. It's messy. Look at that. <laughs> so easy to... Um, get your fingers dirty but um, I will just take out a teaspoon of this mix it with my lemon water and you've really got to mix it well this um, was hot water which is cooled a little bit but it's a lot easier to blend in hot water um, and you'll notice how dark the water my lemon water or my lime water has gotten after mixing it and just incorporate it quite well before drinking it make sure you drink a lot of water after you take activated charcoal internally because um, it will adhere or bind all of the um, toxins or whatever it is detoxifying in the body so you will want to flush it out by having a lot of water after you take it in so um, this is a great way to have your tea um, and to detox even further. Um, my lime is a great way to detox, but my um, activated charcoal and lime takes it a step further. So I'm going to enjoy my tea.